Hello and welcome to another Brett Plays video. Can we be taking off a Yak 130? <coughs> taking off in, sorry. Or a Yak of Lev? Yak of Lev? I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that. Mitten. Now I am in the display livery. And as you can see, not all the textures have come over. Uh, the tyres being white. Okay, something's not working there. I think the engines were not correct either. And I can't imagine they're necessarily wearing such white helmets. But when I first got this, I think the interior was completely blacked out. Or the uh, the glass was. I see that the uh, engines are also uh, no texture there. Though you can see what looks like little fans working. But I will give this a bit of a try. Now this is an FSX uh, convert. This comes from simouthouse.com. Now, I don't think I can link directly to the file. I can only link to the web page, and you need to do a search on there under FSX Aircraft. It's also where I got the B-52 and the Vulcan. Uh, uh, so there's a few other planes there that I have been able to pick up. Now, from what I notice, uh, they've popped in the default F-18 cockpit from Microsoft Flight Sim. At least that's what it says on the MDL file. So I'm guessing this is the F-15 Flight Simulator X interior. So, look, it works. Uh, well, obviously not all the screens and stuff, but it works as a stopgap. Plane model looks pretty good. I do have another uh, Yak-130 and I am going to showcase that one as well. So, flight models, we are on 20%. Look at that. Leading edge goes down. Well, that goes pretty fast. Alright, we'll take one. Do we have lights? Thank you. Still don't see lights working on some of these. Okay, pity that all the textures aren't working on this particular one. Uh, there are about six different liveries. Uh, this is the only red one. Uh, there was a few green, bluish looking ones as well, grey. Uh, there might even been a camo. So let's put pipe brake on. Let's get this thing going. Let's override the brakes. So this thing does get going quite well. F-18 cockpit. Look, it looks pretty. We're up. Thank you. Won't even notice landing gear is got white tyres. Well, that's a bit of a clunk, isn't it? All right, flaps up. So quite noisy when it comes to that. So as far as the initial build being FSX aircraft, look, it's quite nice. Nothing much to, to complain about again, um, except for a couple of uh, textures. So let's give this a quick run around the harbour. I do still like to run my flight sim from Sydney. Thank you. Got my ATC working. Try that again. Thank you. Sydney Tower Red Blaze Bravo Pave Now, I can see my speed is doing 500 knots. I am now, I've just pushed it up to 100%. Looks like we're coming up to our maximum. It's shaking around now. It's not bad. Some interesting sounds. Air brakes. Okay, it's got a nice big slow paddle at the back there. I don't imagine that's meant to come up that slowly, but okay. Works quite well. It's not my best uh, Yak 130. At least I think I like the next model um, better, so I will make a new video on that one too. Give it a try. Uh, but there are some things on this I don't mind. If someone wants to do some extra work and fix the uh, engines there being all white to do with a decent paint job. I never noticed the military boat down there. Modelled. Alright, very cool. 
there is a Navy base in there. I, the um, life of me right now, I cannot remember the name of the base. I don't think it's Platypus, but that was where the subs were over more to the other side of the harbour there. We're going to the Anzac Bridge. Now, I'm getting some frame drop here. I don't know if that's a plane or if it's just Sydney. I'll give this a bit of a, uh, a land as well. Two levels of flat. White gear down, thank you. I don't know how expensive those white tyres are. That's a joke. No, I'm not saying that they actually come with white tyres. For a trainer aircraft, handles quite well. I do have a couple other aircraft that are modelled on this. I think it's the Henju, I think that's how you pronounce it. And I think there's a Leonardo uh, that all had the same designer who came up with the Yak-130 uh, consult on the uh, national trainer aircraft for China and for, I think it's Italy. And I will uh, show them off as well. It comes in quite nicely. And I'm only on 20% flaps. This is after the patch from uh, Sobo to fix the double flap level. Let's try another flap level. See how thing well this thing floats. See if we can get in behind renewed Paul. bit off the uh, line. Comes in quite nicely. Do these things have reverses? No. But they do slow down even without brakes, so I don't remember me putting the brakes on there. Get off the run of the wall. They do get going though. Wow. It's a pretty awesome aircraft. Hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to show off another one. Um, so this will be, I think it's video 191, is it? Uh, 192, probably. I'll make it in 193 for the other yak. And uh, that way, when you actually are looking at this, you won't have long to wait uh, to look at the next one. And you can compare. I think the next one might have 30 or 40 liveries. Uh, and maybe even some loadouts as well. I also believe it's got a few extra things where the engine cowlings there uh, close up depending on the throttle going up and down. Alright, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Cheers.